We all owe it to ourselves to take a break from the daily grind and escape reality. I feel like I literally have to teach Clay how to live life. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah. Now, this isn't for everyone, but I think we've all found ourselves wondering what it's like to live a simple life. Definitely like something we've never experienced before. I just feel like I'm out here alone, very secluded, and like, I love it. Well, this is it. A small little island in the Gulf of Mexico, only accessible by boat. That's a really, really nice red grouper right there, man. Clay! <laughs> no cars, just boats, and a touch of old Florida. Right now we're racing around, pretending like we know where know we're going. We're yeah. So here we are at Fort Myers Marine, and they are so kind, they invited us over to hang out here for the weekend. Mm -hmm. They have a nice little place for us to stay in North Captiva, mm -hmm. and they contacted me and they're like, hey, look, you know, us being a Pathfinder and Contender dealership, we're always playing the Life by the Bow videos. So they reached out to us and they're like, it would be so cool if you guys just came over, borrowed one of our boats and just showed everybody what we have to offer. And they just said, hey, here's a 25 hybrid for you guys to take. So, <laughs> hey, I'm all for it. And supposedly they said that they have a surprise for us once we get to North Captiva. So we're gonna take you guys along with our entire journey. And I think it's gonna be something really cool and different. So come on, let's That's go. Right. It's a nice little shop. Hey guys. On? How is everyone? Hi. Good. So guys, this is Brian. He's the general manager here, manager here, right? Yes, sir. Yep. So he's the one that actually reached out to us and we're gonna be staying at your house. And yep. he was so nice to invite us over here and do what we're gonna do. So we're excited. We check out the boat? Yeah, absolutely. Sweet. Yeah. Wow. This is beautiful. I love it. I've heard it. great things about this 25 too. Awesome. Yeah. Oh God, it's got all the paint on the skeg. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so if there's paint missing, you know who to blame. So not too bad for a tender here. I don't know if you guys already heard, but basically this is our mode of transportation over to North Captiva. There's no bridges, so we can only get there by boat. And I think it's so cool because actually the boat that we run right there, the 24, it's very similar to this boat, but this one is a 25 hybrid. Don't be fooled by all these pretty boats here because Fort Myers Marine, they're also a full service center. They do repowers, they do installs, and basically what they focus on and they pride themselves on is service. And that's something that's really important because you can buy the perfect boat, but the service that you get after the sale is something that's really important because there is gonna be times where say, you know, the trolling motor breaks, electronics, something goes down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this boat hooked up to the truck and we're gonna get moving over to Captiva before the sun goes down. Baby got back, got 300 back am I, there. Am I allowed to look or are you gonna get jealous? Uh, listen, you can look at that all you want. That's the only power you can look at. Unless you're looking at me, because I got 400 horsepower. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> no, I'm those new 750s. They haven't even come out yet. <laughs> So we're at Safe Harbor in Pineland at the boat ramp here. Getting here a little later than we wanted to, but you guys know that we have an Ameritrail on our 24 as well. And it's just insane the way that these trailers pull and they just fit the bottom of the boat like a glove. So you cannot mess up with one of these things. But as it is, looks like they're gonna be pulling this trailer back in the dark. And we're gonna be running this boat in the dark as well. A little sketchy in a new area, but hey, everybody likes the challenge, right? Wow, this is pretty cool and spooky at the same time. So you know where you're headed, right? Not really. <laughs> Driving at night is definitely no joke. As you can see, we got the Nighthawk over here. 
making sure that we're not hitting anything. Even though I got this. She doesn't trust me sometimes. No. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that house. That's where we're staying, Clay. Surprise! <laughs> That's a surprise. <laughs> Talk about some ocean front real estate, baby. Seriously. Hey, I take it. This would be pretty cool to sell real estate over here, though. You just take all your customers by boat. There's a green buoy here, babe. That's a green buoy. Just remember, red, right, return. When you're going in, red is always on your right. Hey, Stephanie. Yeah. You see that contender right there that says Fort Myers Marine on it? Oh yeah. That's our surprise. We're going red snapper fishing tomorrow, baby. This is just gorgeous. I mean, from what we saw this morning on the way over here. Haven't seen much yet. No, we haven't. It was pitch black when we first got here, but from what we saw in the dark, this place is really cool. We didn't really know what to expect because Brian was just like, hey, come on over, come stay at my house. And yeah. I didn't really ask too many questions. We didn't really do a lot of research either no. on this place. So it's a complete surprise to us, like yeah. everything. We have no idea really what to expect, but this place is definitely upscale, which I know Stephanie, likes a lot I, I love it i don't know like i just feel like i'm out here alone very secluded and like yeah everywhere you you go you go by golf cart there's no cars on the island to get here you have to take a boat mm -hmm. so it's just like this is my kind of living golf cart and boats right <laughs> definitely like something we've never experienced before no we haven't it i don't think i've ever gives you the feel of the bahamas with the but golf it, carts yeah but there's like an <laughs> old Florida touch to it, mm -hmm. but we're walking over to the contender right now. We're gonna hop in the boat, and the goal is to go anywhere between like 50 to 100 miles offshore, and we're gonna see if we can catch some red snappers. So that is the goal on day one. So this is a 30 ST. This is actually the first contender that we ever had. This is the Fort Myers Marine demo. And they were crazy enough to let me take it. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna take good care of it. I have a love-hate relationship with going fishing whenever I'm in a new area because <laughs> like, it's difficult finding good bottom. Well, it's just you have these high hopes of catching fish and you think everything is going to go exactly as you plan. Yeah. And more than half the time, it doesn't work out that way. But you know what? At least we're on a really cool island. So if fishing doesn't work out, we can explore what it has to offer. But it's going to be fun running this boat offshore. Yeah. Brings me back to the old days when this is the boat that we used to run around cause in. trouble on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna run out there and see if we can see. bring back dinner yeah we're gonna see what we can do here give it a shot Out here in the Gulf, 
is just really paying attention to that bottom machine. There's not much out here, but if you do find something, chances are when you're this far offshore, it's gonna be good. But I gotta tell you, not a bad day. Do a 50 mile run out to the Gulf. It's so funny, I was talking to everybody over at Fort Myers Marine and I was asking them about live bait. And I'm like, I'm so used to live bait fishing, you know, where can I find live bait? And they're like, listen, you don't need live bait. Just go out there, get yourself a box of squib. And that's exactly what we did. We're using a chicken rig. That's about five feet of 60 pound leader, six ounces of lead. And then we have the squid right there. 30 pound braid, pen slammer. We're gonna drop this down and see how it works out for us. Ooh, I wonder what it is. It doesn't seem like something massive. But it really something. is pretty big, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah? Yeah. Like Either I'm fit. just not that strong or it's pretty big. This is tiring me out. What do you Watch think it this is? guy be like a little sardine. <laughs> Look, I see him. Here, He's coming over. up. What is it? Let's see what it is. <sighs> Looks like a snapper. Woo! It's oh, a red it's a grouper. grouper. They're out of season. Yeah, he's got to go back here. Bring him Dang. over. Dang. Got to send him with a descending device. Oh, did you see that? So that's a red grouper right there, and you can tell by the coloring. They have like a pinkish tint to them. Now we're going to stick a venting tool on them. So what we're going to do is go right behind that peck fin there. Oh, you hear it. Yep, you can actually hear the air come out. I prefer venting tools when you're putting the fish down on a descending device. He can't fight for himself if he's trying to get away from something. So since we just deflated his air bladder, he can go and fight on his own and get away from whatever's trying to attack him on the way down. Feels like the nicest fish so far. Uh, Come on, ooh, bring. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. yeah, that's a snapper. There we go. That's a snapper. Come on, be something besides a grouper. Been catching red groupers back to back, baby. All I want is one. That's all we care about. Ah, he keeps on fighting, man. Making me think that we got a red snapper bay, no grouper. I'll tell you what, that's a nice red though. That's a really that's nice a red. That's a really nice red grouper. What a shame. It's crazy because red grouper is still open in Atlantic waters. I don't know what's different about over here in the Gulf, but unfortunately, he's going back down to the bottom. Hey, at least we didn't get skunked. We're catching some good fish. You're on? I'm on. Oh, like what is it feeling rig. like? Feeling like another grouper. Oh! Seven is on again. <laughs> Getting schooled by her right now. Oh, definitely another red. Hey, look, I got something red. It wasn't a red snapper, but it was a red grouper. Red grouper, right? You got the right color. We're seeing red, baby. Let's see what he is. Oh, here it is. Watch, I just caught, caught the same red grouper. <laughs> Right? Oh! Oh! Another little guy. Let's see. A little baby red grouper! Ooh! This feels like a small red. But I'm praying it's something else. Come on, let it be something else. Oh, I got another red. I think I'm done. Double red here. All right, time to go somewhere else. I think this is a small grouper. 
What do you think? It seems it's fighting a little more aggressive. Yeah, it's fighting more like a snapper. Well, I'm hoping it is what you think it is. I hope so too. And it is lane snapper. Oh, not hey, that's lane. not a bad size. Should we keep them? Oh, you lost something the ate weight. the weight. There there's must be definitely shark. sharks down there. But guess what, Clay? It's proof that there's snapper down there. That is true. <laughs> there is snapper here. These guys have to be eight inches to keep. I'd say he's probably around 12, 13 inches. It's definitely a nice size one. They don't get too, too big. A couple more of these and we'll be good to go. I'm digging this bag right here. It's made by Buffalo Gear. You can get them on Amazon. It's nice. Makes it easy to travel with ice. Stephanie, where are you at? You're on? Yeah. Nice. It feels like a snapper, a good one. So let's see if it's red snapper. Ah. Seems like a nice little lane snapper here. Big thing too, when you're fighting the fish, if you can reel on them, just keep on cranking. No need to pump, just keep that tension on them. That way that hook doesn't pop out of his mouth. We're racking them in, baby. Another nice lane. They're tasty. I'll take it. Right now, the man upstairs is saying, hey, you know, we're gonna start you off nice and easy. We're gonna get you going, some red groupers. We'll work you up to lane snappers. We're not gonna give up, we're gonna get our reds. Oh, oh, I I'm... pray to God these aren't groupers. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Ah. <laughs> Good number here though. Oh, cool. It's a great trigger fish. I got a trigger as well. <laughs> These are really tasty. They are really good. Do you want him? No, I'm gonna throw him back. I'm not okay. giving up on the red snapper. I'm getting a snapper bite. Here it is. What is it? Double up? Double up. <gasps> what is it? Ooh. I got a red snapper! Did you? <laughs> He's just small. Hey, at least we know they're down there. Oh, yes! That is awesome. That is awesome. Good job. They got to be 16. This is nowhere near 16, but Clay's bringing Another something baby else red. up. Oh, wait, no, a that's a vermilion. Seven? That's a vermilion snapper. Beautiful. Go tell mama and papa I'm up here, that I'm hungry. <laughs> but hey, at least we're not coming home empty handed. I couldn't even imagine running 50 miles out here and catching absolutely nothing. Come on. I got a good fish here. I don't think it's a legal red snapper if it is one, but I think I have a red snapper. Man, this is like a red. Oh, look, a vermilion. Clay, you want to keep, keep it? Keep him, yeah. He's so close to 16. We're just going to give him a measure. Why not? Let's try it. He is 16. There you go. It's a good size one too. All right, I'm gonna go put him in the in our bag. In the Clay. Buffalo Gear bag. Clay. <laughs> that fish did it on his own. It slapped you. I give up. All right. Woo! See, Clay, you never know when a fish fights back. Look at that, those are all red snappers right there. I love it. Come on! Double up, baby. Ah, <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm really not this weak, I swear. They're just fighting so hard. We're also fighting them in 140 feet too. Ah. All right, let's see if we get them again. What is it? You know what? Another red snapper. Another Woo red. 
Yep, this one's 16 for sure. Is he? Yeah, he's got Oh, be. baby. I got my first legal rod. Did you? So cool. They're very similar to a mutton snapper too, which we catch a lot of at home. But what's wild is the mutton snapper so much smarter than the red. But we're just whacking them one after another here. This Come feels on, like Stephanie. a red snapper. Same here. I think mine's bigger than yours though. Wow, that is a big vermilion. <laughs> Please be a legal red snapper. Here it is, what is it? That kind of looks like it could be legal, babe. I'll tell you what, that's not a bad little bag out of Captiva right there. No monsters, but hey. Awesome, I caught my limit. All right, let's go home. Well, we made it back in one piece with a box full of fish. Two things that I didn't think that were gonna happen. We are excited to show you the island on top of that because we've been coming in early in the morning or late at night, so we haven't had the chance to really see it for ourselves on the golf cart. So we're gonna bring you along, show you the house, and hopefully get some beautiful sunset views from the house today. All right, so welcome to North, <laughs> North Captiva by Golf Cart. Right now we're racing around, pretending like we know where know we're, we're going. Yeah, <laughs> pretending like we know what we're doing because we're trying to get to the beach. How's it going? <laughs> trying to make it to the sunset. So we just got a little bit of local knowledge. We're trying our hardest to make it to the beach before the sun goes down. Because if there's anything to be known right. about the West Coast, this is our have the most beautiful sunsets. What do you think, Stephanie? Beautiful. Well, hey, we missed the sunset. But it's okay, this is still beautiful. This ain't too beautiful. bad, though. As we do this and we experience new places, it's so exciting because one of these days, we're gonna bring a human being into <laughs> this world and We'll I like just, to sh bring her here, him yeah. or her here. And, and show them all the places that we've experienced. And what's so cool at the same time is you guys get to live this with us. And it doesn't matter, you know, where your paradise is. This may not be your idea of paradise. Your idea of paradise may be sitting on your couch on a Sunday afternoon, you know? But this is our paradise and we're glad to bring it to you guys. And, you know, as exciting as this is, I'm also really excited about Brian's heated pool. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, it is a beautiful morning here in North Captiva. It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> of course, when you have this awesome brand new house that it's Brian beautiful. lent to us to stay the weekend, you just have this super secluded feel here on North Captiva with a little touch of luxury. And you're just tucked back into all this foliage here, which is so cool. Brian isn't sure he's thinking about renting this place out. Um, if he does ever decide to, we're gonna put a link down in the video description. We're just really happy that we got to enjoy it, but let's walk down the dock and um, let's see what conditions are looking like. Yeah, buddy. All right, which one should we take? I'd rather take the contender. Let's take the Pathfinder. Okay, just because they have the power poles and it's easier to get to a beach. Oh my gosh, I would love to get another dog. Yeah, well you can move in with her, how about that? They got good taste in boats too.
What do you think, Stephanie? Looks cool, right? It is. It's called Point, Point Blanco. I like this because it's protected from the wind. Pretty awesome deal over here in Captiva, guys. I mean, like we had talked about, when we came here, I really didn't know what to expect because I kind of just went with the flow. They said, hey, we got these two boats for you guys to use over here. And I was like, all right, you got me sold at the boats. But I think it's really cool over here. It's just you have all these different areas that you can choose from to kind of just set up shop like we're doing right here. A lot of really beautiful sandy beaches. But, you know, I mean, it all depends on what you're into. Some people are West Coast people. Some people are East Coast people. Personally, I like it all. I like the East Coast, West Coast, the Bahamas, anywhere where you can take your boat, enjoy beaches. I like clear water, but switching it up for, you know, some of the darker, kind of more tannic water isn't a bad deal either. So it all depends on what you're into. So here we have a biodegradable, eco-friendly grill. What's so cool about it too, is you could literally just stick it in a backpack. Not like that, I said across, you gotta put them across. Oh, like this? Oh, I get it, like that. I feel like I literally have to teach Clay how to live life. Are you kidding me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> get on a boat, you won't survive. I have, well, I don't need to, I have you. Exactly. Listen, the only thing you need to know how to do is make it to land and dock a boat. If case, in case of emergency, I know how to make it to land, dock the boat, and get you to safety. Yeah, but there's these things called flats. Listen, if any, they're close to shore, so that means I can swim the rest of the way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, so I'm just gonna add some tartar sauce. All we gotta do is put the fish when it's done and we're good to go. I love snapper. It's so good. You know, the last time we had red snapper was in Steen Hatchew and we had it fried. This time we grilled it and you can really taste the fish and it is absolutely delicious. I will say this week's episode has been one of my favorite of the year. What about you? Unbelievable. I mean, it's really not too often people just say, hey, I have a house for you to stay in. I have a 30 Two foot boats. contender, a 25 pathfinder <laughs> mm -hmm. on an island out into the Gulf of Mexico. And it's so awesome that they put this all together for us. And really the biggest goal behind everything is just inspiring you guys, getting you back over here on the West Coast, getting back out on the boat. Spending time with family and friends. Yeah. We can't thank you guys enough for all of your support. And we'll see you guys next week.